Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So I am having a crazy week again. I just um, took my daughter, dropped her off at college yesterday, which was, it was good, but exhausting because her school is in Pittsburgh and it's called Duquesne and it's, um, it's like around four hours from here. So it was a long day because I started off like a big, hi Ellen. Hi, hi guys, how is everyone? Hi Gail. <clears throat> yeah, so hi Anita. So yes, it was just crazy. My house is a mess. I'm getting ready for um, an inspiring art activity today at noon and work is busy and sometimes I'm not sure how I can possibly keep up. And when I went to bed last night, I thought, why did I say I would do this? Good morning, Martha, in the morning, this painting live. But then when I got up, I thought, this is like my favorite part of the day. Of course, I'm going to do this. She said, if you did it in a day, you're doing, oh, way to go, mom and dad. Thank you. Oh, yep. Yep, last one off to college. It's um all good. I know it's it's going to be fun. Like, you know, it's going to drop your kids off and you wish you could stay. <laughs> like yeah I would love to do that all again maybe that's what it'd be like to go to a retirement community someday it's like like your kids drop you off college and you have to go make friends like I would be so good at that hi Carolyn. I just got your message I'll check into that then um <clears throat> so okay I'm ready to calm my brain down I just did a million things since I woke up and I woke up late because I went to bed really late but <clears throat> But yeah, it's all good things. I can't complain. I could be knee deep in awful things. I'm just, it's all good things. So, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say, but I can't think of it right now. So I will turn this around. I'm going to do sunflowers. That's, it's been, I've been loving it. And so I'm kind of on a streak of sunflowers. And I might have done it last week. I usually look back to see what I did the week before because I have no memory of it, but it doesn't matter. They're all fun. Like I always say, I could paint she says my daughter's all the way in the u.s i'm in Q qatar is that how you say it? the distance drives me nuts yeah that is really at least i could drive to isabel boy the trucks on the turnpike are crazy though i don't know I drive when they're all on the road that stresses me out like i that never used to bother me but it's just so busy but you know what now that i think about it, there's probably a lot more trucks on the road now than there used to be right Okay, so let's get started on the fun part here. Let me turn this around. So yeah, I've been busy with a lot of art stuff. I did my artist talk at Red Raven where I have my artwork hanging and it was really fun. Like it wasn't a lot of people because I was a little bit worried. Oh no, I bet I don't have, oh I do have one more brush here. I have my brushes, I was cleaning them and I'm behind on all the things like brush cleaning. But <coughs> And I may cough more today because I'm probably a little more stressed than usual. I don't know it's from stress. Someone had told me on here that it could be like allergies or something. So I could try cutting things out of my diet and see if I stop coughing. But maybe if I got up a little earlier and prepared more for this, I'd like had tea or something it would be good. Anyway, I'm just jabbering on emotional drain on top of the physical. <laughs> You're right, Martha, it is. Like, I don't feel like it is, but it, yeah, it definitely is a little bit. A little bit, because I'm going to miss having her around here, that's for sure. <clears throat> but yeah, she has such fun things going, coming. So, how is everyone I'm going to stop to drink my coffee a little bit. I didn't get too far into it. <clears throat> so I painted this one as one of my little four by fours a week or two ago, and it was really fun. So I think it was a week or two ago. Boy, do I lose sense of time. <clears throat> Fall pollen affects my sinuses and lungs. I could be doing that, Ellen, right? <clears throat> I always think it's maybe something I'm eating, but... All the time I try not to be eating. It's crazy. All right. 
busier drinking my coffee here. Um, so what's new, everybody? I'll put this tiny little yellow one down here. I had done this as a square so that some of this um, bits in the middle here I didn't even know existed <clears throat> when I painted this before. I might have to put some more paint out too. My palette. I can remember to keep it keep it loose. Not get too lost in it. <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. You make you always make me feel good. Ellen wrote to me right beforehand, and I was busy um, working on my stuff for this today. And you know how if you're anything like me, when I get caught in doing something creative, I forget what time it is. I totally lose all sense of time. And had she not texted me at that moment, I don't think I would have been ready <laughs> to go live. She's like, sent me a note. That was wonderful. Thank you, Ellen. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that getting lost in, in doing creative things is a mixed blessing because you can also lose a sense of time when you need to have it, right? Because <laughs> I think, oh, I'm just going to take five minutes and do this real quick. Do you ever do that? Yeah, always. And nothing's real quick, and it's never really for five minutes. Or at least I don't want it to be for five minutes, right? <clears throat> Is anybody painting right now with me? Um, so where's everybody um, tuning in from? <gasps> A new grandson today. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Does the grandson live near you? Did I see about painting similar in the fall? Jackie, what do you mean? Painting similar in the fall? There's no sense of time, right brain creative. Me. Is that what the problem is? <laughs> is that really a thing? Ellen, no sense of time. I do love when that goes away because I spend my entire life worrying about time. Like, how much time do I have? I have to hurry up. I'm not getting enough done. You know, all those things. And to get, maybe that's what's so fun about this creative space too is that like that's the time when you don't, you lose time. So there is, there's none of that. Like, I'm not thinking about what time it is when I'm being creative. Hmm. That might be part of the charm of it, right? in there too oh seminar oh let me see in the fall Jackie said something about a painting seminar in the fall yes I'm doing one in Connecticut and there's information on my website about it um yeah and I hope I don't know if it's gonna fill up like everything's just so weird right now with this COVID um kind of variant and I don't know what's going to happen, but yes. Um, and I'm sure that if, you know, if it ends up getting canceled because of COVID, she'll refund your money. But um, it's at a beautiful place in Connecticut. And I'm hoping that it happens. Um, and if by chance it doesn't, then we'll just do it when everything gets better, maybe in the spring. Felicity Douglas says, this is beautiful. Thank you. The world is so horrible. And this is a moment of gorgeousness. Yes, we need all the gorgeousness we can get. I love gorgeousness. Ohio and your highlight to my week. Oh, good. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Susie. <clears throat> Piecing it all together. Yes. You have to remind me to piece things together. I forget to do that. I love how you add color and don't see the in the original picture. Yeah, just hints of it. Like even in here, do you see like there's there's purple in here? And this, even though, you know, but this does, if you really look in there, that that goes toward pink in there more so than this is darker bluish purple so that would mean this is cooler and and then where it goes toward red it would be warmer a warmer area in there a few miles away I can't wait to meet him oh that's so nice that you get to have a new grandson a few miles away that's got to be like the best thing ever that is so fun Nothing better than hanging out with babies. They're just the most amazing. All right. Let's see. I'm going to put some blue down in here. Some of my paints are a little bit dry. 
Life's been busy. I'm not keeping up with washing paint brushes, vacuuming, doing laundry. Everything's suffering. And my husband went back to school. He's a school teacher. So all the things that he usually takes care of in the summer stopped. I haven't grocery shopped in weeks. So now, now that we've got Isabel off to school, I've got to start getting life back to normal and eating better and keeping up with things. But it's going to be, I'm going to have a crazy little season because I have the Rittenhouse Square Fine Art Show coming up in just a couple of weeks and um, also my class that I'm doing in Connecticut and I'm launching Art in Bloom again. So I have that one more time. So if anybody wants information on any of that, just sign up to be on my newsletter list if you're not already. An empty nester. I am an empty nester. I don't know if I can like it. <laughs> Greta says who wants to keep up with that stuff anyway. I totally agree, Greta. And I'm really bad at it, but I'd have to say that my husband would like me to try to keep up with that stuff. <laughs> I am terrible at it. <clears throat> need to work on it. I always am working on it, but it, it never happens. I, say, I grew up in a house where my <clears throat> mother was like, you know, a homemaker. She stayed home and she would, um, like I had different, she'd make homemade curtains and bedding and stuff for my bedroom and switch them out in spring and fall. And I always wanted <coughs> to be a mom like that, but no time for it yet. Maybe I'll be a grandmom like that. Make all the things. When we first moved into our house, I made all the curtains. I made everything for my house. I used to knit sweaters for my kids. But then life just got too busy. That's okay. I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing right now if I hadn't done all that, right? Life always leads you right where you need to be. You just have to keep, keep trusting that because I do forget it often. It's definitely a messy, a messy start. It's way before the messy middle. A little dark over there. Oh, here. Vacuuming is definitely overrated, Martha. Impressionistic, thank you. <laughs> you think like Mike, do you? Embrace an empty nesting can be fun. Yes, I'm sure I'll enjoy your technique, acrylic or watercolor. This is oil paint. I'm working in oils. You're doing, I cried the whole day. Oh, did you? Yeah, well, it's my third time doing it. And I do know that the rewards of them going to college is wonderful. Like it's so fun when they come home for holidays, like all those kinds of things. Like I know what I have to look forward to, I think more this time. Mike's gift to me, Ellen, yes. <laughs> so, we don't keep up when he's not, <coughs> when he's in school. He does do that. Peas in a pod is great. Best gift ever. All housework is, yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> and I'm not good at it either. All right, I'm just going to add some. Whimsical color in here and not think too much. I'm pretty good at not thinking too much this morning. Oops. A little bit of blue. Times have changed, but I love our children never stops. No, it certainly doesn't. They are there. Worth all the work, that's for sure. Green. Yeah, so I'm hoping Isabel, it's okay for Izzy at, at college too that 
you know, they do have to wear masks when they're in public spaces and all that. And everyone had to be vaccinated, which is good. I think that will help with <clears throat> cutting down risks of things. And grandchildren, yes, grandchildren have to be the, the best prize of all. Best prize of momming. Oops, my, um, using up this last bit of my, my, um, metallic gold and, like, I hate to throw it away, so I'm just, like, getting through using this tiny little piece and not getting it all over my hands. Well, I might be getting it all over my hands. Maybe I'll show through in there a little bit. <clears throat> Quite a mess. That is a lovely, lovely, messy beginning. <laughs> you have 10 grandchildren, Ellen. Oh my goodness. And Amy had her first in December. Oh, I take the photos. This actually was, these are flowers that I bought and it's sitting um, on the mantle in my living room where the sun comes in the window. Um, I try to take Either I take my own photos or oops, I um, I'll do some paint mixing over here. Or I ask permission if someone posts something that I love on Instagram. Greta Bones, who's on here, she often lets me use her beautiful photos. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I would, yeah, I would love to spend more time doing photography, but I honestly don't think I can fit one more photo on my phone. I've got to go through. That's another thing that is so time consuming is organizing your photos. Ellen says, I'm having my ninth grandson in December. It never gets old. Grandchild in December. That's so fun, Ellen. Yes, I have to get my, my first one married first. We have five. Now so much joy. Yes. So that is a huge thing to look forward to. I need to clean this whole thing off. It's um it's always feels good to clean clean the palette too. Unsplash. Oh yes, that's a good one, Allie. And there's another one that I found too that has birds. It's like a nature reference one. I can look that up. I can't remember what it's called, but I find a lot of bird images there. And they're not free, but um they're very reasonable. I, they're like five dollars a piece or something which is you know terrific no i don't i don't have any lemon yellow where is here it is found my lemon yellow sun is getting engaged on friday oh caroline that's so fun yeah my daughter got engaged a couple of weeks ago and she's looking at wedding venues and i'm sure my son and his girlfriend who have been together for 10 years probably aren't too far behind them um, all right, I need to make, yeah, my paints are a little dry here. Making a nice dark for the inside of the flower. I'll take some of that and go toward blue a little bit. Glad, and I put out a little bit of tort gray. I'm going to use some of that in the background. That's nice. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to lighten it with this blue. I'm going to see if this is similar to that background color. It is very similar, <clears throat> but it's not very much. Maybe I'll make some more of that. My son and his girl have been together seven years. Young people, yes. Yep. That's what Alex is. Girlfriend's been in the middle of medical school, and now she's going to do her fellowship next. So they've been busy, but they did buy a house. Like, they're moving forward on other things. The whole wedding thing is, like, so much to do, too. It's such a big project. <clears throat> oh, Tork Gray. The one that I'm using is... <clears throat> Where is it? I just used it. Here it is. They say this is a color 
that they um, they make by mixing whatever paints they have left over. So you technically could make your own torque gray just by mixing up paints. But I think torque gray tends to go a little warmer. To put, I have to put more of that paint out too. <clears throat> yeah, usually my piles aren't so messy looking. Okay. <clears throat> what is that metallic gold pigment stick called? Ancient gold. Oh, the pigment stick. Up oh, here, I have a new one that I got out for when I use up that last piece. It's it's RNF pigment sticks. It's iridescent gold. <clears throat> I have this brand nice new one to use next. <clears throat> a little lighter. I think that looks good. Okay, now I need to mix some yellows, greens. I got to get moving. I'm so busy talking here and reading that I'm not getting my painting done. <laughs> Yeah, messiness is pretty productive, right? I think it is. I get a lot done in my messy chaos. And I usually know where things are in the chaos of it all, too. Put a little orange in here and see what we get. Maybe way too dark. I've been using this a little bit in my sunflowers. It's um, cadmium yellow deep. Although I try not to use cadmiums very often because they're not supposed to be healthy. But <clears throat> I am using up whatever I have. I just won't buy more. Maybe I'll push this up here and bring a little bit down and add more of that in there. That's what I need. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> I'm going with that. Yes, messiness is productive. Do you ever do an entire... No, Amy, I haven't. That would be so fun, I think. I don't know. I could try it next week. Hmm. I don't know, though, if I have enough colors. Like, I tend to not um, be in love with their, like, reds and pinks. Like, I don't have... This is really... Well, I love this color. But for the most part, these are the only colors I generally use. And I started doing it because when I teach Art in Bloom, I try not to need a lot of supplies. So I had to narrow down to my favorites. So these are my favorites. Um... But then it just kind of stuck. I have a whole bin of them. <coughs> and I rarely go back in there for anything else. Oh, I just don't use the cadmium colors, Terry. Like, I'll use, um, if they say cadmium on them, I try not to use them. That's all. There's plenty of other colors. Yes, there aren't a lot, yes, there aren't a lot of pinks. And the pinks are a little lackluster. Like, they're just kind of, they're flat or, I can't even say what they are, but. I'm not in love with them. They they don't pop. They're not sexy. That's right. They're not sexy enough. Move that away from my gray or I'll have that in there in no time. I know me. And I need a little bit more of this. Some greens. Good. Purple and green, and then I think I can put it in here. So I'll do greens. <clears throat> well, no, no, that's good. That one's good. That was too dark before. I lightened that a little bit. This looks a little too armish, army-ish or something. I'm just going to put a teeniest dab of red in there and see if I can um, desaturate it a little bit. Maybe I'll like it more. Well, that's better. I'll put a little bit more um, sap green in there. Take a little bit of that and put a little bit of my yellow in. 
that I mix. Sometimes I'll take colors that I've already mixed and add them in because um, I find that it helps the painting get get kind of cohesive. Mags, I do. I, <coughs> I have an online course coming up. It opens the beginning of September. <clears throat> and um, I also have an in-person workshop that's coming up in Connecticut in October. So yes, I do teach. And I have a, a membership group too where we do all kinds of different things. And that opens up again, maybe in November, I think. I can't quite remember what I had planned. All right, I think that's a good start. <clears throat> we have good yellows, greens, purples, always fun. <coughs> Gabby, I, well, this is another sap. I love this dark permanent sap green is much darker. Sap green doesn't go very far. <clears throat> and I use this light one too, this transparent yellow green a lot. But other than that, when I, um, those are the greens I mostly use. Sometimes I do use others like Viridian or Thalo green, but they are over. So <laughs> my, in my organized disorganization, these are my reds. These are like my, um, some of my mixers, although there are a lot of them are laying in front of me. These are the paints I use the most often. These are my whites. These are my browns and blacks. And then over here are my blues and yellows. So I sort of have them organized. Sort of. For me, that's very organized, actually. Let me move this. Sorry about that. Let me... Okay. Now I need to start with my big brush. Can you see that okay? Let me pull this back a little. Is that good? Yeah, that's probably good. It's above the words. <clears throat> okay. Let me dive in here. It's already 8.28. How does time go so quickly when we paint? Time flies when you're painting. I think that's probably the real saying. Not time flies when you're having fun. It's time flies when you're painting. Oh, is that a is that my butterfly organizing system? I love that. Did you guys do that? Ellen had sent. Where did you put that in our group? Or is it an inspiring artist group? I can't remember. But she found a thing where you find out what kind of um, organizer you are. Is that what it was, Ellen? It was what kind of organizer you are. And of course, she said she's a butterfly, and that's what I got too. I'm a butterfly. And what did that mean? How, how's that described, Ellen? Do you remember? Just lack of organization completely, maybe. <laughs> or your mind just floats from one thing to another. That certainly happens to me. There's no controlling it. There's always something about this. Oh, a clutter bug. Is that where they look it up if they want to try it and see what kind of clutter bug they are? Um, <clears throat> this stage of the painting before it's finished. I love this too. I always want to play around with finishing parts and not others and calling it finished. Abundance and macro. macro. And what's macro organizing mean? Like bigger picture organizing. Yeah, because I'm not I'm not an organized person, but like if if I'm looking for something that's in my house, like if it's not put away, I can likely find it. I know where it is because I've seen it. If I put something away, I have no idea what I did with it. It's like it never existed. I just talk, chalk that up to poor memory, but maybe it's my organization style. <laughs> I think I need a little bit of um, permanent rose in there. It just needs a little um, something, just a little something in there. A little something, something. Out of sight is out of mind, yeah. Detailed organizing, yeah. I don't get lost in it. I don't even understand it. <coughs> I 
we were cleaning out my office um, the other day. And um, Julie, who works for me, and Mike were organizing and clearing out clutter and talking about something. And they both, like, had the same system for doing something that just, it just amazed me. It's like, I would have never a million years thought about doing it that way. And they both said it to me independently. And they're both organized people. Yes, Anita, you have to take the quiz. It is, it is funny. It kind of made me feel better to know that I'm this way for a reason, right? It's that thing. I'm always trying to fight it. I'm always trying to be an organized person, but it's kind of a futile effort. I got green in there. I don't know if I like that. I love to let a little bit of that part that kind of looks like watercolor show through too. Sometimes it happens where one part meets another. <clears throat> Ellen says, filing drawers with detailed systems don't work for me. I had a pile of papers on top to be filed. Yes. Well, and like, Someone will organize for me either at work or my daughter Emily's very org. Whoops, my daughter Emily's very organized, and they can set up a whole system for me. Of, and it's all organized, and I do really well, like for a couple of days, and then somewhere along the way, I forget what I was supposed to do, and it all falls apart. It's like it makes sense if it's all laid out for me, but they'd have to do it for me like constantly, put it back. thinking about this um, I love this round thing I should buy a few of those they might have them at roots this week and I could buy a few and play around with painting just a bunch of those round balls and really um, paying attention to making them look dimensional holding my breath as I do that. That looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, I need to stay on task here. 834. <clears throat> Yay, Marie. What did Marie? Oh, Marie said, I love clutterbug. You're a ladybug. Oh, and what does a ladybug mean? took the test butterfly also thank you you're in Argentina oh yeah did we say where we're all from did we do that part I forget <clears throat> that's nice the greens really I mean the greens the grays really make the colors pop more I wanted to be a ladybug because they have such neat tidy rooms yes I would like that too I guess we can continually aspire to ladybug hood. I would love all my art supplies to be organized. That will never happen. <clears throat> my intentions are better than my organizational skills. Yeah, Nancy. I yeah, it's like I I don't understand it. I try to do it. I'll look at things and I'll think now 
where would Mike put this? How would he organize this? And I try. But even like packing the car to take Izzy to school yesterday, my gosh, he got so, well, he is so good. When I go to art shows, I would have to probably take two vans because I wouldn't be good at like packing everything in like that. I don't even think I'd be capable of it. He says, when my art supplies are organized, I don't use them. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what happens to me. Yes, I, it's like I forget where they are, and then I just don't even feel like doing it. It's like, yeah, I don't feel like getting I, And they're all organized. I got them all where they belong, so I'm going to go get a coffee. Yeah, it's like if you put everything away, then you think, well, I just did all that work. Everything's put where it belongs. Then I might as well just leave it there and maybe I'll never paint again and just keep it tidy and be able to come back and say, look how nice my stuff looks. <laughs> I would totally do that. I kind of like how this looks in here. Isn't it kind of fun? <clears throat> yeah, it sounds like we all are a bit the same with that stuff for sure. I'll keep trying to change it, but... some of the darker areas in here and I do love this little hint this little yellow flower down here it's just a tiny little sweetheart of a flower <clears throat> me too my painting things are not organized no if you could see my area right now I don't even want to show it to you and just like the rest of my life right now it's it's messier than than it should be I do need, I need a, like a real legit art studio. It's on my list of goals. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but it sure would be nice. I think, I always think that it would be easier if I had more space, but I just fill it up. My mom, a ladybug, had cleared counters, a minimal end table. I have still lifes all over my house. E yes. Me, I grew up in a very, very, very tidy house. My stepmother was super organized and kept a great house, was a great cook, wonderful person. And I would love to have picked up some of those qualities. And I think my dad wished I had to. <laughs> but he did give up after a while. Yeah, I wrote that blog post. My dad like would do a white glove test to make sure that I cleaned above my doors and my bedroom. Because my mom died when I was in seventh grade. And there was a time in between. My sisters are 16 and 18 years older than I am. So they were out of the house. And there was a period of time when I had to take care of a lot of the stuff. Because, you know, he had a business and a lot to do. So my sister would pick me up and take me grocery shopping on Tuesdays. And I used to have to iron and do all those kinds of things. I think that's partly why I hate these chores, you know, doing chores all the time. Not that it was a bad thing. I certainly, it's good, but. But it's funny, they're all things I had to do that I really don't do at all anymore. I very rarely iron. I do make dinner, but <laughs> not as well as my husband does. He's a much better cook than I am. But um, now I forget what I was even talking about. Something about my dad being organized in the white glove test. And I have no idea what I was saying to you guys. Sorry. <laughs> my thoughts are gone. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was saying. <clears throat> he says, look at my studio. It's my space to relax. Yes, that's a good, good way to do it. Yeah. But I always need his help for like packing and shipping paintings and stuff. So he always ends up in my studio. I hate chores too, but it's something we can never get away from. <coughs> and you know, I don't know that I think now that I'm just thinking about it a little bit I don't know that it's chore that I I don't really hate doing chores or any of it I think I feel like I'm wasting precious time that I could be creating 
all the things that I want to make and do, and I feel like there's not a t enough time for it all, that when I'm doing those chores, it's almost like it's taking away my creative time. Well, and it is. It's not almost like it is. It, it is because between, you know, my my business, my um, design business and everything, there's not a lot of extra time. And then when there is some, the last thing I want to do is be um, cleaning. <clears throat> full of treasures. It is full of treasures, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the way it's the wasting of time. I think Corinne says I don't want to be remembered for being a great housekeeper. No. Well, and I certainly won't. I can't even yeah, no. No, I don't either. Yeah, my kids are no worse for the wear for me not um being a tidy house. Although I'm pretty good at laundry. I do enjoy laundry. I think I like laundry and I like mowing the yard. I need some um, of my yell, my um, I keep running out of lemon yellow. Um, I always think I like mowing and I like doing like chores like that because you do the project and you're finished. You just, you mow and then it's done and you can see the reap, reap your, reap the benefits of your work, right? Right away. It's right there. There you see it was long. Now it's short. I love that. But when you're doing like, um, house cleaning or whatever, I go from one thing to another. So I might be working on something and then I'll carry, you know, the paintbrushes that I cleaned into my art studio and then I'll see something else that needs to be done. So then I dive into that and forget what I was doing in the first place. So you could just go around and around your house forever and never feel finished and never feel like you accomplished anything because there's always more to do. But I guess art can be like that too, right? You could feel like, oh, well, you could keep working on it and working on it and there's always more to do. And I think when I'm painting, one of the ways I I judge that I'm finished with something is because my mind starts to wander and I'm not focusing on it anymore. I think that's a really good way to judge whether it's time to stop. <clears throat> I love mowing the lawn. It takes three hours on a lawn. Oh my gosh, Shelly. That sounds, I would enjoy that. Yes, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, you have a great big property. I've never ridden on a riding motor, but it sure does look like fun. It does. It looks therapeutic to do that. Yes, I love chores that I can see um, the progress. My my um, this isn't looking dimensional. I've got something the matter in here. I'm gonna try and push this back a little bit. Right in there and right... Oh, I have to put a little bit of dark right in there, too. I still look like... I still think I'm in the messy middle here, and I should be coming back out the other side pretty soon as I only have a few more minutes. Well, not a few. I have pretty many. Pretty many minutes. I have to step back here and think for a minute. I'm a butterfly too, Amy says. We're a kaleidoscope of we are. A lot of butterflies in this group. Love that keyhole petal, lower, middle, corner. That, yeah. I need to get that a little better, don't I? I need to make this more of a shadow in here. It's always a little bit of a balance of like adding enough to get the personality of like the pedal or whatever and but not doing so much that it looks overworked. I think actually I need to bring my blue up a little or my green. Me too. I'm an immediate gratification type of can't plant bulbs because I need the flowers now. Yes, it is hard to have that patience. And then I finally did plant some where was I? I was at a friend's house and they had planted beautiful um flowers and it's like I need to do that next year I need to plant my own flowers but I don't like to plant um 
the ones that you had to pull the bulbs out and put them back in again. I can't remember to do that. That's like never going to happen. Never going to happen. But I would love like some zinnias and um, dahlias. But maybe when life gets a little easier, which could be this year, maybe now that my nest is empty. Somehow I'm doubting it, but it could be that I might have time to do some of those things. Like plant flowers so I have my own. Although it is easy just to go buy them. But I love the idea of the abundance of having tons of flowers all one time. edge because if I mount that I have to have it the edge kind of painted zinnias I love zinnias too Ellen says I don't pull up iris bulbs they keep multiplying oh good well maybe I did plant a few um corms I guess they call them those little um for ranunculus I think and some anemone so maybe I'll just Leave them in there and see what happens. If they're meant to come back, they will. Right? <clears throat> Can you talk a little about membership group? <clears throat> Amy, the membership is called at the Inspiring Art Collective. And the idea behind it was, because um, I keep wanting to do all these fun projects and I never have time to do it. So I figured if I kind of made a, a group like that, it would give me an excuse to do all the fun stuff. So it just, this will be the second like launch of it. And, you know, it's kind of a lot, of, probably a lot of people that are in here with us right now and we explore all kinds of stuff. I take um, suggestions from people too, because you know I don't have it all planned out, which that's another goal of mine is to plan ahead. But like this week, we're gonna work on a project. We're gonna do a field trip today to my friend's house who does this beautiful uh, cut metal art. And then we're gonna work on a project together with some of her cut metal pieces, <clears throat> which will be really fun. Um, we do, I do painting demos, like I did one where I demonstrated how I do dog portraits. Um, someone had suggested, like when I do the paintings on paper, how I do one on um, framing options and how to mount them onto boards. Um, and fun, just fun random ones too, like my family uh, at Easter time we did Pysanky eggs which are the Russian Easter eggs that you um, paint with wax. And that was one of the lessons that we did together. So, and it's all housed in a, a, like a learning platform. So if you can't be there live when I'm doing it live, I usually do them live. <clears throat> you can go back and watch it whenever you want to. So it's kind of like a place to, and I'll do anything from, you know, whatever anyone wants, some are behind the scenes. Like I was, did my um, art show, at Red Raven this uh, <clears throat> past week, and I did one on how I prepared for it, how I got everything prepped and ready to go, and did a little video when I went in and dropped everything off at the gallery. Oh, let me see. Allie says, what did I miss here? I'm laughing because I straightened up yesterday, and I just couldn't find my ruler anywhere. Yeah, my problem with that is that then... I have like 12 rulers so that I don't have that problem, right? But no one needs to have that many rulers in their studio. But I have at least, maybe I don't have 12, but I have a lot of rulers. A lot of rulers, a lot of scissors, a lot of X-Acto knives, a lot of tubes of the same colors of paints because otherwise I won't be able to find them. So I just buy the same ones, so I have lots. So the more you have, the more likely you are to find it and the messier your studio looks, right? I think that's how it goes. <clears throat> I think I need to do a little bit more of that purple. I 
That's pretty fun, isn't it? <sighs> It is fun, yeah. I need some of this light. Yeah, so the, the Inspiring Art Collective, I want it to be a space where like if, you know, anyone wants to learn anything or there's something fun going on or I'm learning something, I love to share all that. It is, it is a lot of fun. Well, creating anything is fun, right? <clears throat> I need a little, maybe a little bit of magenta in my purple here. <clears throat> I used to kind of be afraid of carnations. Now I like painting them. And I like letting that little bit of, like that transparent color show through in the background there. Um, <clears throat> I need to put a little bit of that. I love the texture of that. Um, whatever. I don't even know what that's called in there. I bought these, I think, at Market. I haven't been to Market in a few weeks. I need to get life back to regular balance where I'm home on the weekends. And I guess that'll maybe start to happen in the fall. I'll be home this weekend. My husband's going to help um, our neighbor's son. He's re um, renovating a house, and they're going to go work on that this weekend. So I'm hoping to get a lot of stuff done, like for the art show this weekend. I don't want to put too much of that in there. I just want to have a hint of the of that whatever that is I should know what it's called <clears throat> I love the texture just I'm not organized either but I made lots of progress taking virtual organizing class with Shannon Lowe from Atlanta we worked together as a group for an hour at a time I met kindred spirit people oh my gosh that's so fun oh my gosh Ellen yes I'm bummed about that although he'll go somewhere else magical he always does but Yes, I loved Mulberry Farm. I loved painting there, and that's where I did my course. And I would love to make another course, but I have to wait till, you know, he lands and I have a little bit more bandwidth to think about it. But um, I loved having workshops there. It was a magical place. <clears throat> and he's moving briefly to um, Palm Springs and... Um, I would love to go visit there, but I don't think it's going to happen because it's too much at the beginning of Isabel being in school and I have too much going on. But anyway, maybe I'll get to do an online course from somewhere else magical or in person too. All right, what do you think? Am I finished? It's 8.54. What else do you think I need to do? And Ellen and I, we were talking about Mulberry Farm is a place that... <clears throat> my um, college friend Glenn owned and that's where I filmed art, my Art in Bloom course that's opening up, coming up here in the, in September. <clears throat> and it, it was just such a beautiful place. But he, he's, as much as I hate change, I like everything to stay the same. Change makes me sad, even though I know it's good, but he is a master at it. Like he just gets there always is a time he's like, yep, time to move, time to move on. And he always goes somewhere wonderful and fun, but I always have to go. I said goodbye this weekend. It was fun to have everybody there. He did a really fun auction. He auctioned off all of his, like, stuff that he didn't want to pack and take to California with him. A lot of really cool things, too. And my kids all got great stuff. So the auction is that... Everyone got mul. It was called Mulberry Farm. Everyone got mul bucks, and you know it was really fun because you're you're bidding on things, but it's not real money, <laughs> so it's really all free. <clears throat> Will a bit of small white show up on the side next to your small upper yellow flower, or are you? Oh, right here. Yeah, I'm on the tape right there. 
well, a bit of white. Oh, do you think I have white showing somewhere here? I don't, yeah, I should check my edges. Although I don't even mind when it's not perfect. I kind of do love it, I think. Oh, for Rittenhouse Alley, for what show? Rittenhouse is, oh gosh, I need to write this down and have it in front of me. Rittenhouse is, I would love to see you. Um, this like the 16th, 17th, 18th, whatever the teen numbers are of Friday, Saturday, Sunday weekend in um, September. Really soon, actually. Oh, that was funny. I had a little purple. No, on the left. Oh, over here. Why don't I pull the tape off? Let me sign it. What do we have? 57. I went on a minute late, I think, because I was distracted here. I'll sign it and pull the tape off, and then I can see. Although I won't be able to fix it, right? <laughs> no, I think it's okay. Should I pull the tape off? I love pulling the tape off. So I, when I paint this, I always mark off like a six by nine piece and then I put my tape slightly outside of it. <clears throat> Can you see that kind of little ledge there? So that if I mount this onto a board, it goes over the size of six by nine. <clears throat> All right. Oh, that little ball. I know I love, I think I'm going to see if I can get a bunch of those if I go to market. On Saturday, I'll see if I can get a bunch of those little balls. That'd be fun just to do a whole thing of those. Really good practice for all of us, right? Okay, good. So, guys, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. It's a good way to start the day. And some of you, I'll see you at noon for the Inspiring Art Collective activity at my friend Deb's house. So, lots to get ready for that. Plus, I got work to do. So, I'll be off and running here, and I will see you soon. And if not, um, sign up to be on my newsletter list if you're, if you're new to hanging out with us. And also, what else? I'll be here next week. Oh, and I'll save this. I'll put this in on my website. I'll link in my website, and I'll put it on my YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube, go subscribe and like my, my videos. So, guys, thanks for coming. Yeah, I hope you have a great day. Loved hanging out with you. We'll see you soon. See you next week. Bye, Shelly. Bye, Allie. See you soon. Have a great day. Now where I don't know where to say end, hold on.